Hi, this is Suzanne Clegg of SpiritGate.com with another answer to a frequently asked question about my octave resonance healing approach to cancer. I do energy healing, hands-on healing, distance healing for cancer. And um, I, um, the question I get is, how do I work with my oncologist or my veterinarian? And my answer to this is closely. This is in, energy healing is in no way, shape, or form physical medicine. You've got a physical cancer, so you need a physical doctor or veterinarian who can help you with the physical aspects of this, of this thing. All right, so um, it would be ridiculous for you to um, use energy healing instead of a doctor. However, I do think it um, does enhance your relationship to, I mean, it, it just is a good thing to add. And um, I have doctors who study with me. I have doctors who refer people to me. Um, it's not as crazy as it used to be, as it used to seem. It seems that um, the idea that um, palliative care, that you know, making somebody feel better, um, is a good thing to do. It's just not rocket science, right? You don't even need a medical degree to know that. And guess what? People with medical degrees know that. So do get a doctor, get their supervision, get their help, um, use them for what they're really, really great at. Now I will tell you that they don't really know much about energy medicine. So you should ask them to help you with what they know about, okay? And don't ask them to help you with what they don't know about. They are not usually trained in energy medicine. Um, they see the failures of energy medicine. They usually, I don't think, I don't know, I, I, you know, they don't have a good handle on, on it. M myself, I've worked with energy healing with cancer for 15 years now. Um, before then I did it occasionally, but really 15 years ago was when I did my um, mentoring, um, when I got mentored by Bill Bankston, and that's when it get, got, I got the confidence to, to work with, with this. But, um, Basically, um, you're going to need your doctor to know if it's working or not, to get scans, to get blood tests, um, and to just get their opinion as to whether or not, what are the, what are the potential costs, what are the potential benefits of doing something, um, and they'll let you know. Um, they'll, they'll recommend something and you'll say, okay, so what are the chances that, that this is going to help me? What are the chances that it's going to hurt me? And then uh, you come to me and you say, what are the chances this is going to help me? And, and, that, and we have this converse, conversation. And often with cancer, since it, is, it can be such a lethal um, situation, um, you have to go with your gut. And you have to um, do what you feel is going to work. And then you have to take the consequences of your decisions. Um, but I just encourage you to not make your decisions based on what tribe of people you like. Like, oh, I like the holistic tribe, so I'm going to go with them. Or I like, the, I'm, I like doctors, so I'm going to go with them. It's like, it's really not if you like doctors or if you like herbs. It's like, what is going to help you? Um, and sometimes, going across your cultural um, tendencies can be very healing. And sometimes, of course, it, it isn't healing at all. Um, but just saying, well, I'm in the camp of people that doesn't use doctors, or I never do, I would never do chemo. Um, I would suggest that you go find out what kind of chemo um, you 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 would be offered, so that you're not just refusing something because you don't like the idea of it. That you get information, and you make your decisions from a educated um, stance. And even then, it's hard, and you have to go with your gut. But at least you, you did some research, you, you have a, a sense of what you're up against. And, um, yeah. All right. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next answer to the next question.